Costumes are everywhere. From theater, to concerts, to television, to cruise ships, to film, to opera, to dance, to theme parks. Every facet of America's entertainment ecosystem relies on the design and creation of custom costumes to tell stories, entertain, and transport us to worlds known and unknown. But how does a custom costume get all the way from the page to the stage? It all starts with a designer and a sketch. The director, choreographer, and the design team have many meetings to discuss the concept of a production. Satine had to be the sparkling diamond, as introduced by Ziegler. She was a glamorous, devastatingly captivating showgirl. Our creative team loved the design, and the sketch was then approved and budgeted by management. And with that, the costume is on its way. First stop, a custom costume shop, where the shop owner consults with a business manager to calculate a bid price. The associate designer gets approval from the show's general manager, and the build officially begins. The project manager now serves as a hub, coordinating with design associates, vendors, and stage management, while the draper begins to pattern a mock-up, bringing together their team of first hands and assigning portions of the costume to each one. There are also shoppers who source samples of fabric called swatches, and the careful selection of fabrics, trims, and feathers begins with the entire team. Once a mock-up of the costume is ready, the project manager coordinates with stage management to get the performer scheduled for a mock-up fitting. And this is where I come in. I remember having multiple costume fittings in which the main question asked to me was, how does this feel? And I know that it had a lot to do with how does it feel on your body, but how does it make you feel? I always think that the costume piece, especially iconic costume pieces like those of Satine's are sort of a duet, right? I work with the costume, the costume works with me. After the first fitting, the patterns are corrected and the team begins to build the costume in the chosen fabrics and trims. Meanwhile, the associates coordinate with other elements with other shops and artisans. The top hat, jewelry, gloves, hosiery, and footwear. After all of the finishing touches are put on, including the Swarovski crystals hand-placed from head to toe, there's one final fitting. Now the costume is ready for the stage. I guess the other thing that I think is so fascinating about these artisans is that uh, before they became a part of Satine's journey, Satine had no vessel. Uh, they create the vessel in which I pour Satine into. It's fascinating to see these people who are so humble, but who are magicians in their own right, uh, creating something and then handing it over to me and saying, you take it the rest of the way. It took 19 artisans, 961 hours to realize Satine's opening look. But imagine, this is only one costume for one character, for one scene, for one show, in one sector of the entertainment industry. For the Broadway production of Moulin Rouge alone, 180 expert artisans worked over 36,000 hours, creating 793 individual costume pieces. They all started with a sketch, 210 sketches to be exact, each with their own journey from page to stage. Costumes are everywhere. But in March 2020, the custom costume industry of New York City came to a screeching halt. The entire ecosystem is currently at risk of collapse. The Costume Industry Coalition was launched to advocate for the survival of the small businesses that employ experts in the field. The workrooms, milliners, artisans, and artists that turn our ideas into reality need support during this crisis. We know that the entertainment industry will return. We just need to ensure that when it does, the custom costume industry can return with it. The Costume Industry Coalition has started a relief fund to bridge the $4.5 million deficit they face to cover basic overhead between July 1st and December 31st. Please visit www.costumeindustrycoalition.com to make a donation. In these trying times, many are not in a position to give but you can help by spreading the word. We appreciate the support.